this golden retriever, male, 14 years, neutered, came in on the 23rd of August after he fell during a walk and struggled to get up. Something doesn't seem right with his legs. How is the vet going to diagnose and fix this problem? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Topayo Vets. This video is about the lameness examination in an old golden retriever. Singapore is a city. Most residents live in apartments. There are pockets of landed properties. These are mainly townhouses or terraced houses. In this case, the dog stays in a three-storey landed house in a well-developed area of Singapore. This video shows the first stage of the vet's examination of the dog. We here observe the dog walking and trotting. Trotting is defined as moving at a pace faster than walking. The vet attempted to observe which leg the dog was not putting its weight on, but since the lameness was not severe, it was difficult to come to a conclusion based on this test. Then you can see, if you control the dog, you can't see. Eh? Many assistants tend to tighten the leash. Uh, run better, trot. Yeah, that means there's a, there's a limb. Yeah. Some more, some more. Although the owner knows it's the right front, but uh, it's better to check by trotting. Okay, some more. Trot, trot, ready, trot. Ready, run. Loose leash. Some more, some more. Let's go. One more, back, faster. Ah, yeah, a bit limping. Huh? Where you fall down? On the right. It's not very obvious. Okay, I would do the examination. One more time, faster. And further, further down. Go further down, huh? further down to the end of the table there. Okay, last one. Turning is okay. It's okay. Do the table there, table. Back. You see, sir, you see, you faster one day, you see? Yeah, yeah, faster, faster. The next stage of the examination was bringing the dog inside the clinic for a proper physical examination. This test involved weighing the dog and manipulation of the leg joints, namely extending, flexing, abducting, and adducting. The vet observed for pain or reactions to this manipulation and realized that the dog had minor arthritis in the head area. Okay, now we examine the dog. You didn't know about this. You explain that. I do the, no, I do a lot of weights like that. I come and stand here, stand here. Dog. So my leg is very strong. Okay, come. Yeah, hold on straight. Put the dog to the side, side, side view. I mean side. You hold that. One, two, three, yeah? Down. Okay. Then. Then the back here. Now the the You hold the back here. Couchy. Now the complaint was the front, so I just check the front. The shoulder. Okay. So they hold, hold, hold the this, huh? Uh, normally, basically extension and flexion, uh, and then abduction, abduction, nothing, nothing. This one, so this is shoulder, no. Extend. I know this is elbow. Extend, flex, nothing. Abduct, abduct, nothing. This one. On the shoulder, this is here. The shoulder there. See the direction, no. Uh, see the direction. Come this way. See the direction. Relax, sir. Okay. The tongue out, so then we're going to do extension, shoulder, extend, see the pain, and adapt, adapt. That seems to be okay, so that's why it's the left one, okay, now we turn over, come on. One, two, three, the third, the complaint was the right one. So the fist goes. Relax first, down first, huh? So the same thing again. There was no real limping. Huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. This one a bit. Okay. That, 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 no pain. A bit of pain here. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bit of pain. Let's see. Let's look at this one. The elbow. Okay, now we go to the shoulder. See, come and focus on the shoulder now. And the dog, so you can see the dog. See any reaction or not? Okay. 
come from down here, let's show it again. This is uh, fraction, extension, action, action. Don't see that much pain, no? So it's not very painful. Uh. Okay. Normally it's the back actually. Yeah, the back part. But then you see it's, it's, it's turned on the front. He, he the walked back. and then he went off floors. Yeah. Off floors like that. Then he lie down and lie down. He, he, that. That. he, he lie down uh, outside, you know. That was yesterday. Uh. Okay, but after that. Quick, uh. After that, he he, he, he behaves like the usual, like and try this pain like that. So we thought since we didn't come and see you, see how you see you. Okay, not pain. Eh? So you're good for the old dog for some reason, not so keep. So you can see, observe him. Eh? Observe his reaction to keep. Now extension, yeah, there's pain here on the hip. So when I extend the hip, you can see the dog turn it here. So you don't control too much, okay? Ah, okay, so the pain is here, the hip joint. And uh, this is the right side. Now we turn over this side. <coughs> the left side, you see? Turn over this. It's, it's a beautiful dog, actually. 14 years old. They're starting to go. Put again. Nothing. Anyway, there were no signs of obvious lameness. There were no signs, not no serious signs. So, you know, the, it's a hop, it's a knee. See the reaction, I always see the reaction there. Nothing, come this way. Okay, nothing here. Yeah. So I'm going to do the hip, see the reaction now. I haven't done yet, I can see the profile too far. Now anticipating the pain. Okay, extend the hip now. Oh, pretty good. Get that. Nothing. Flex the hip. So there's a bit of a scrapitus here at the side, so other than that, you should all dogs usually there are these two areas. The test also involved spinal palpation. This was to check for any stiffness or pain, especially in the hip area where arthritis was suspected. Don't, don't distract me. Let's see the reaction. Huh? They'll come this side. Let's see the reaction. Okay. The hand off. Okay. The pin is on the hip. Yeah. Hip joint. Both sides look painful, so this is the expected to go up, that's why they can't stand up on the hind legs. Okay, so the idea will do it. <coughs> it was on there, no? Yeah. Do you want to give an injection, Dr. Yeah, okay, but let me see the case. The final stage is advising the owner. The main job of a vet is to advise. And for this case, the vet advised that the owner restrict the dog from climbing stairs, only allowing it to remain on the ground floor. Additionally, the vet advised that the owner monitor the dog's weight and prevent it from gaining more weight to prevent stressing the hip and spinal joints. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit topayovets.com or call or email these contacts.